Hi guys, it's Mina. Hi guys, it's Mina. Sorry about that. I had to move the camera. Sorry, my nose is itchy too. Anyway, today in this video, I'm going to do my top 10 board games. Now, here are some board games that I used to play when I was little, and some of you might not have heard of these board games. So, I'm going to try my best to explain them as good as I can. Can, and if you guys who grew up in the 90s are familiar with these board games, um, let me know which one of these are the list of your favorite, or if you have another board game that's not on the list that's your favorite, let me know down in the comments below, and I'm going to get started. So number one on my list had to be Pretty Pretty Princess. Now what this was, this was a fun little game where you had um, jewelry, and you had to get jewelry of of your um, color of your little... So what it was, it came in like, you had like three little thingies that you put on the game. And, okay, so let me try to explain it. So what you did, so let me try to just explain this. So what this was, this was a board game, it was like a puzzle that you put together. And then you had like a little jewelry box in the middle and it was filled with jewelry. And you had these little thingies, they're like character thingies. They weren't characters, but they were little things for the game where you move them around. And it came in green, blue, purple. I mean, green, blue, purple, and pink. Those are the four colors it came in. And then it can't have, and then when you opened up the little jewelry box, the jewelry box had a mirror on top. And then you open it up and it had like a little spinny thing that you that you flicked and if you flicked it, you get to, um, and it would land on like the numbers one, two, three, and four, and you had to go that many spaces. Here it says, and if you landed on like a certain piece of jewelry, you got to take the piece of jewelry, and if you landed on the, um, put one back, then you had to put a jewelry back, and if you got like the black ring thing, that wouldn't have been good. It would have good because then you could lose if you got the black ring. But if you didn't have the black ring and you landed on put one back, you had to put one of your pieces of jewelry back. Heck, it was a pretty fun game. I played it with, like, a couple of my brother's friends or my... I played it with a lot of my girlfriends and a lot of my guy friends. Even though they were boys, they liked the game. I played it with my best friend a lot when we were growing up. It was our favorite game to play. My, um, I played it with my aunt, I think, I've played it with my mom, my mom and her friends, I've played it with, um, my brother, my brother even played it, even my dad played it, <laughs> it was pretty funny. Number two on my list had to be Hungry Hungry Humble. This was one of my favorite games to play as a kid. On this game, the way it worked was you had to, um, a lot of you probably have heard of this game, and it's, I think it's still around today. And if you play this game, the way it worked was you had, like, hippos, and then you had to press the button and they would, like, gobble up some marbles. Marbles and the most marbles you ever gobbled up was one, and it was a lot of fun. I liked it because it was kind of like a fun little quick game to play. I played it with my dad a lot. I played it with my brother, even my mom. My mom liked this game a lot, too. Even my sister loved this game. It was one of her favorites, too. Too. It was like a really long, fun game. I've, and it's still pretty popular. I think they still make it today. I don't know. Do they still make it today? I think they do. Number um, three on my list had to be mouse trap. So what this was, this was a little trap game where you had to play set up a mouse trap, and when you set it up, be, you had to like set it up in like a certain way so then the trap would fall down and catch the mouse. It was a pretty fun game. I used to play it a lot at my dad's house, so you had to put like all these things together to create a mouse trap. And then when um, if it worked, it would let the mouse trap down and catch the mouse. <laughs> it was pretty fun. Fun. So you had to put like a shoe, I think, together, then something else, and I can't remember all the, th the construction things you had to put together because it was so long since I played this game. I played it a lot as a kid at my dad's house. Number four on my list would have to be Operation. Now, I bet the whole world knows what Operation is, but um, I'm going to explain it anyway. So what Operation was, it was this game where you had like um, a guy in his like underwear, underwear, and it had like little holes and it had stuff on it. I mean, he had stuff in his body, and then you had to, like, um, have, like, tweezers and pull out, um, whatever it was in the holes, and then you had to, um, take, you had to take it out, but you couldn't touch the sides, or else his nose would go off. It was a pretty fun game. Game. I remember it was a bit of a difficult game, and even the buzzing noise kind of freaked me out as a kid. 
Number five on my list had to be Freddy Cats. Now what this was, was this was like a game where you had a dog that you had to like turn on and when you turned it on he'd move around. And you had to like, I think, move the cats. And then when it was time to like, I think, I don't remember how this game worked because I haven't played it in so long. So I think when you like move the cats a little bit or on the board, board you turn the dog on and when the dog would move he'd like hit your cat and then you'd be out or something. I can't remember how this game worked. I haven't played it in so long. Number five, six on my list had to be Candyland. Now what can now I'll bet a whole world knows what Candyland is, but I'm gonna say it anyway. So what Candyland was was this fun little game where um you had to pull out cards and you had to go on a color color of the squares and whatever color the card showed you had to go on the squares and if you got two of the same color on the card card then you got to go then you got to move twice. But if you got a um card a little square with the black dot, you couldn't move until a card until the color the the card of that color was drawn. It was a pretty fun game. Number um Seven on my list was Elephant. I love this game. This was a, such a fun game. My sister used to have it when she was little. Even I think my friend from school had it one time and I was playing with it with her um sister, with her and her sister, and it was so much fun. So the way it worked was you had this elephant that was like a tube thing. The elephant and then it turn on when it turned on it blow like butterflies up out of it. And then it had like a really long tube. It was a lot of fun, a fun little game. And whoever caught the most butterflies won. It was a fun little game. I used to love that game a lot as a kid. I, I think we had it as a kid. Um, my sister had it as a kid. I and mean, my friend had it when her sister was little. It was so much fun. Whoever caught the most butterflies won. It was like a really fun game. Number eight on my list had to be seen at Disney. Now, my sister kind of hated this game because I'd always win win but I haven't won several times. This is kind of a hard game to play with my mom because my mom has a hard time with movies. Mo yeah my mom honestly has a hard time with movies but she does remember most movies like most of the Disney movies I watched when I was little because I used to watch a ton of the Disney movies that were on when I was a ton of the Disney movies that we had when I was a kid. Kids, so we still really like the like this game, even though it's a hard game for my mom to play. My sister kind of didn't really like playing this very much because she because I'd always win and it was hard for her to play. But we did play like Nickelodeon, seen it too. It was fun, and even though I didn't really win that one, one I still had fun playing it with her. Her, I just really enjoyed like seeing all the clips of the Disney movies. It was pretty cool. Number nine on my list had to be Guess Who. Now the way, I bet the whole world knows how this game works. It's really easy. So this game, what you had to do was um, you had to ask questions like, does your person have long blonde hair? I bet a lot of you guys know how this game works if you grew up in my area, era and know this game really well. So the way this worked was you had to ask certain questions. You couldn't say the person's name. So you had to guess like what color their hair was, like does your person have red hair? And they would say no. And then you knock down all the people with red hair. And is and you ask if your person have blue eyes. And if you say eyes and then you that is and they go no. And then you go no. Then you knock down all the people with blue eyes. So that's the way the game worked. And if you guess but the the person on the um, person's card. So you ha okay, so let me start over. So the way this game worked was you had people on cards that you kind of pushed down, flipped down, if you if they weren't the pe people um, on the card. Like for instance, like example, let's just say, do you have a person? Does your person have red hair? And then if you say no, you knock down all the people that have red hair. I hope that makes sense. And then. The person, you ask if the person has a mustache, and then you say no, and then you knock all the down all the people with mustaches. So that's the way it, way it works. I hope that makes sense. Number 10 on my list would have to be Hop and Top and Spaceballs. I played this game several times because my brother had this game, and it was a lot of fun. So the way it worked was these balls were in a container, and they were all different colors, like pink, green, blue, and I think yellow. I can't remember. I haven't played the, this game in so long. So the way, it, and then when you pulled up the little top thingy the balls would just bounce around and if you got like the color that matched your little thing that you pushed the little um handle thingies that you pushed push then you should then you don't um fly them out but if you got the wrong color then you press the button and it jumps them makes them jump out 
it was a fun game. Even though I never really remember winning that game, but I had a lot of fun. Okay, so those are my top 10 board games. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!